Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, this video is very important for interview perspective. See, in this video, we are going to understand stuck in active state. Actually, deep concept of stuck in active state. We will understand SIA query and SIA reply. I am not talking about the normal query of EIGRP message. As we all know that whenever a prefixes will goes down and feasible successor is not available for that network router generate query message to ask to their neighbor and to inform to their neighbor that if you have installed the, the prefix via me then please remove it from your routing table so it will share query message actually with uh, infinity delay with delay maximum and it is asking to their neighbor as well with the help of query message that if you have alternate path if you have any path available then please share with me also so there is two purpose of EIGRP query message one is to inform neighbor uh, about the network down or about the topology change and to ask to their neighbor if they have any alternate path okay so I am not actually discussing the normal query message of EIGRP here the I am discussing SIA query message stuck in active state query message and stuck in active state reply message most of the time my paid students are receiving this question in interview interviewer asking multiple questions from this topic stuck in active state okay so you can see guys this is my topology in this topology let's say router one is connected with one router and router that is router 2 and router 2 is let's say connected with lots of other router there are lots of other router connected to router 3 or router 2 suppose the network size is very large in this type of network router 1 is advertising one network that is 10.1.1.0 slash 24 you can see router 1 have this network okay so when i will advertise this network in eigrp what router one will do first router one will install these prefixes in their topology table with symbol p p means passive 10.1.1.0 10 .1 slash 24 and then interface so this network is available on let's say the loopback interface so it will calculate fd value and rd value so rd value will be zero because network is directly connected on router number one so whatever prefixes we will advertise in eigrp first order calculate fd value then it will put the prefixes in uh, topology table after that it is going to advertise it to their neighbor so here router one will advertise this network 10.1.1.0 slash 24 network to their neighbor to router two and router two will also install this network in their topology table it will calculate fd value and rd value let's say it is calculating any fd value and any let's say rd value right and after that it will install the prefix in the routing table and then router 2 will advertise it to router number 3 you all know this right and now guys concern is router 3 one router 3 will receive this prefix router 3 will also calculate fd value and rd value then it will install in topology table and routing table when this network will goes down on router number one if i will down the loopback interface so router one will generate one query message to router two right what is the purpose of query message very simple to ask to their neighbor that if you have learned this prefix via me then please remove it from your topology table from your routing table from because via me no delay is maximum and if you have any path for 10.1.1.0 network then please share with me also this is the only purpose of sending query message so that's why router 1 will send one query message okay and router 2 before generating reply message router 2 will give one acknowledgement if router 1 will not receive acknowledgement then router 1 will start sending unicast query message after rto time after RTO time, it will start sending unicast query message. But let's say router one have received the acknowledgement, but not received the reply message. Because when router one will send query message to router two, router two will also relay that query message to their neighbor, right? And let's say router three is connected with another router, so router three will say ask to their neighbor. Okay. So because of that, let's say router two have not received the reply message okay what i am saying when 10.1.1.0 slash 20 prefix will goes down on router number one on router number one router one will send one query message 
because feasible successor for this network is not available. So this is concept of EIGRP that whenever feasible successor will not available, then router will generate query message. Okay. If router one will not receive acknowledgement, then it will start sending unicast query message after RTO time. But if it will receive the acknowledgement, then it will wait for reply message for 180 second. It will wait for 180 second to reply message. Okay. Okay, now router 1 have sent one query message to router 2 and it is waiting for the reply message. So it will wait for 180 second. After half interval of time means after 90 second, it will send one more query message. It will again going to send the same query message to router 2 after half interval of time. Okay, if router 1 will not receive reply message. Getting my point? This 180 second timer is called a stuck in active state. This timer is called a stuck in active state timer. And after 90 seconds, it is going to send one query message. That query message is called SIA query message. SIA query message. A stuck in active query message. Router after 90 seconds, R1 will send a SIA query message and R2 will send SIA reply message. Then R2 will send same SIA query message to their neighbor to their R3 also. Okay, but I am not talking about the the SIA query and reply message between router 2 and router 3. Let's talk about router 1 and router 2 first. Okay, so R2 will send one SIA query message to R2 and R2 will send one reply message. It will send one. What is the purpose of SIA query message? Guys, purpose of SIA query message is actually router 1 is asking after 90 seconds, router 1 will ask to their neighbor that are you still working on my query message? I have already sent you one query message. Are you still working on that query message? That is purpose. This is purpose of SIA query message. And then router 2 will send reply message. It will say, yes, I am still working on your query message because router 1 is waiting for the reply from R3, from their neighbor, right? So router 2 will send what message? SIA reply message. Reply message. Okay. And when, 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 Router 1 will receive SIA re reply message from router number 1. Router 1 is simply going to reset the timer. Again, uh, stuck in active state time is 180 second. Once router 1 will receive SIA reply message, it will reset the timer. Okay. And after 90 second, it will send again one SIA query message. And for while this process is happening, router 1 will put this prefix in active state. Router 1 will put this network in active state. When it will send first query message. When this network will goes down, first of all, router will put this network in active state. After that, it will send the query message. It will wait for reply message till 180 second. After half interval of time, it will send SIA query message and router 2 will give SIA reply message. Purpose of SIA query message is router 1 is actually asking to router 2 that are you still working on my query message? So router 2 will say yes, I am still working on your query message. And once router 1 will receive SIA reply message from router number 2, it will reset the timer. Again, timer is 180 second. And after 90 second, it will send SIA query message again. Okay. So this process will, you know, continue. Router 1 will send actually 4 number of SIA query message. SIA query message. Within 4 SIA query message, if router 1 will not receive reply, then router 1 will break the neighborship with router number 1. What I am saying? After sending 4 SIA query message, router 1 is going to break the neighborship with their neighbor and guys if router is breaking the neighborship let's say router 1 and router 2 have exchanged 5000 prefixes between each other or 500 prefixes with between each other so if neighborship bill goes down and if again neighborship will come up then both router need to calculate rd value and you know rd value and fd value again routers need to encapsulate and decapsulate lots of 
you know EIGRP packet so CPU utilization of devices will goes high whenever neighbor CPU will resynchronize whenever neighbor will goes down and it will come up again I will show you guys practically as well don't worry but theory is you know theory should be clear to you that what is the what is the concept concept is very simple in the simple way whenever a prefix will goes down and router don't have feasible successor it will send one query message it, and if router will receive the acknowledgement of that query message because query is a reliable message then we don't have problem if it will not receive any acknowledgement message then it will start sending unicast query message okay so if router have received the acknowledgement message but note the reply message of query message then it will wait for 180 second and after half interval of time means 90 second it will send what SIA query message purpose of SIA query message is very clear that it it is uh, router one is sending SIA query message to router two to ask that still are you working on my query message I had sent one query message to you are you still working on that on that query message and router 2 will give SIA reply message okay but this is not the reply message of actual query message okay still router 1 is waiting for the reply of actual query message so router 1 will send 4 SIA query message to their neighbor if within 4 SIA query message means 90 second multiply by 4 means total time if I will say 360 second 360 second means after 360 second router 1 is going to break the neighborship with router 2 and I will show you how you will stop this you know uh, problem and how you can change the stuck in active state timer also but before that let me show you guys how routers are sending SI query message and <coughs> SI reply message okay so <coughs> let me here I am going to delete these things let me delete it and let me configure the scenario okay and I will capture the link between routers so that I can show you all types of query message here okay so I am going to configure EIGRP and ES number let's say 100 okay so let me take access of router 1 first on router number 1 first of all I think I need to configure IP so IP interface brief yes so IP is already there 12.1.1.1 uh, on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and on fast ethernet 1 slash 1 I need to remove the IP so interface f1 slash 0 say no IP address and shut down okay and now if you will check so IP interface brief exclude and unassigned you can see I have only IP address on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 I am going to create one loopback as well here interface loopback one and say IP address is 10.1.1.1255.255.255.0 okay then let me configure IP on router 2 on router number 2 I am going to verify the IP configuration I think there is EIGRP also running so say no router EIGRP AS number 100 or what AS number is running here so IP protocol okay so EIGRP ES number 100 is running here so I have to delete it no router EIGRP 100 what it's saying I am not able to delete the EIGRP configuration okay leave if EIGRP is already configured then no problem so IP interface brief exclude or unassigned let me check IP here IP on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 is 12.2 .2 and IP on fast ethernet 1 slash 0 is 24.1.1.2 okay on so IP EIGRP interface I am going to check interface so you can see EIGRP is enabled on both interface let me <coughs> EIGRP is enabled on both interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and fast ethernet 1 slash 0 let me check the configuration of R3 enable so IP EIGRP neighbor 
so 34.1.1.4 is neighbor and so IP interface brief exclude and assign so here IP address on fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 is 13.1.1.3 no no here let me change the IP interface F0 slash 0 IP address is 23.1.1.3 255.255.255.0 and interface f1 slash 0 I am going to say no IP address or let me do one thing I am going to reload this router just give me one second guys then I am resuming the ok so there was some problem with iOS again I am going to configure IP so IP interface brief now you can see on router number 1 I don't have any IP address so let me configure IP first interface f0 slash 0 no set and IP address is 12.1.1.1255.255.255.0 exit interface loopback 1 and IP address is 10.1.1.1.255.255.255.0 done so IP interface brief exclude unassigned ok so now let me take you to R2 on R2 also let me configure IP first config t interface f0 slash 0 no set and IP address is 12.1.1.2255.255.255.0 exit interface f1 slash 0 no set and IP address is 23.1.1.2255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255
it have received this network in their topology table and it will install it in routing table also so ip agrp route you can see 10.1.1.0 slash 24 network is there now just to perform this lab i am going to increase the hold on time you know why because what i will do here first of all let me make you understand that how i will perform this lab i will capture the link between router 1 and 2 and between router 2 and 3 then I will configure one access control list on router number 3 to stop EIGRP message. So if I will configure, if I will configure access control list, if I will filter all EIGRP prefixes. So neighbor C bill goes down after hold on time. So that's why I will increase the hold on time. So hold on time should not goes down so that we can see the concept of stuck in active time. Done. And then I will down this interface. And after that we will have capturing I will show you that this router will send first query message this router will send acknowledgement but not reply of query so after 90 seconds this router is going to send SIA query message stuck in active state query message okay so see how I will perform the lab for that first of all I am going to change hold on time on router number one config T interface f0 slash 0 ip eagrp ip hello interval hold hello interval yes hold on time ip hold on time for eagrp 100 and let me set 400 i have set hold on time 400 second on order number two also i am going to do same thing interface f0 slash 0 ip Hold on time, EIGRP as yes, number 100 is 400 and interface F1 slash 0, IP hold on time for EIGRP 100 is 400 second. Let me do same thing on router number 3 also. Config T, interface F0 slash 0, IP hold on time for EIGRP as yes, number 100 is 400 second and now I am going to create one access control list here access list 100 deny EIGRP any any I am going to deny all traffic of EIGRP on this router and then access list 100 permit IP any any so let me allow all other traffic any any done I will apply this access control list on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 by running command IP access group 100 and then direction in before applying I am going to capture the link so this is capturing between router 1 and router 2 and then I am going to capture link between router 2 and router 3 also okay wait okay so now you can see this is capturing between router 1 and router 2 on the top you are able to see r1 fast ethernet 0 slash 0 to r2 fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and this is capturing between r2 and r3 done so both router are sending hello message you can see now i am going to don this in this network loopback interface okay so for now if you will check topology table do so ip eigrp topology topology table you can see state of this network is passive when router 1 will generate query message router 2 will give acknowledgement but when router 2 will gen generate query message to router 3 router 3 will not send acknowledgement max message because it, is, because it will not receive the query message so Q count on router number 2 will also increase if now if you will check so IP EIGRP neighbor Q count is normally zero. Q count zero means EIGRP is not waiting for any acknowledgement. But if router two will send one query message to router two, and it will, if it will not receive the acknowledgement, so Q count will become one with neighbor 23.1.1.3. Okay. So let me first down the interface 
loop back one i'm going to say shut down exit first of all if you will check topology table here you can see a state of this network wait because this is loopback interface uh, okay guys before <laughs> i will down the interface before that i have to apply access control list see i forget to apply access control list on router number one so now i am going to hit enter here first now access control list is applied and now i am going to do one thing on router number one so ip eagrp topology okay this network is in topology table again and let me down the interface interface look back one and say shut down and now if you will check topology table so ip agrp topology you can see a state of this network is active a state of this network is active and here in the capturing you can see this is the query message which router one have sent to multicast address and it have received the acknowledgement okay and between router 2 and router 3 you can see it is sending continuously query message because router 2 is not receiving acknowledgement so on router number 2 if you will check so ip agrp neighbor you can see q count with this neighbor is on one because it is not receiving acknowledgement message here you can see a state is active on router number 1 and it will send one SIA query message after 90 second we are waiting for that just wait for 90 second what time is now here on router number one uh, you can see for 40 second and uh, okay now we are able to see somewhere this is capturing between router 2 and router 3 let me show you the capturing between router 1 and router 2 it will send one SIA query message. Why we are not able to see SIA query message? This was the previous message. Query reply. Okay. Okay. Here you can see router one have sent what message? SIA query message. And then router two have sent acknowledgement. And after that, SIA reply message after 90 second router have received what SIA reply message because it have sent one SIA query message you can see the timer now and it will send how many SIA query message four SIA query message so it have sent how many SIA query message till now it have sent only one SIA query message it will send three more SIA query message and after that when timer will become 360 second on router number one it is going to break the neighborship okay two second two means 30 13 second and here we are able to see i think second si query message also soon it will send second si query message after 90 second it will send si query message and then it will reset the timer this is not normal query message of eigrp okay wait and till then you can see on router number two i think q count will become two now see q count is now two because with this neighbor it is still waiting for acknowledgement and now you can see it have break the neighborship with which router 23.1.1.3 and it have formed neighborship again okay because router 3 is not sending what acknowledgement so see it is sending query message unicast query message unicast query message router 2 is sending unicast query message and on router number 1 let me check the timer so ip agrp topology you can see that, that network is removed from topology table and here between router 1 and router 2 we are able to see the reply message actually when never see bill goes down between router 2 and router 3 right now router 2 don't have any neighbor so router 2 will generate what Qu reply message so that's why we are not able to see second SIA query message getting my point if never see bill goes down here then router router 2 is not waiting for the reply message from their neighbor it will generate reply message so that's why here we are able to see reply message
Here you can see the reply message. Router 2 have sent 12.1.1.2 to 12.1.1.1 and router 1 have sent the acknowledgement message. And once router 2 1 will receive acknowledgement, sorry, reply message, reply message from their neighbor, it will remove this network because reply will be negative. Router 2 will send negative reply and that's why it have removed this network from their topology table. Okay guys, so this is concept of SIA query and SIA reply. Lots of time interviewer is asking questions from this topic. So if you are preparing for network engineer or if you are you know attending the interview, so you already observe this type of question in interview. Okay guys, so if you are planning to attend interview, so before next interview you should practice this type of question by yourself. Then only you should go for interview. Okay, that's all for today. If you like this video, if you learn something from this video, please hit on like button guys. If you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe this channel. We will meet soon in next video. Till then, stay safe. Bye bye.